let's walk you guys through your second essay assignment. Um, and this essay is a continuation essentially of the topic and stance that you took in the first one with additional research. So um, you're going to create an essay that expands on that first essay's argument with ample research to support your claims. So as I noted, you have to keep the same topic and stance as the first essay. And it's expected that you take what you did in the first essay and then substantially revise it. Um, so you don't just add two pages of research at the end. Instead, what you should do is look back at your essay, look at areas where that can be strengthened, and find where you can plug in and use different pieces of evidence to support your argument better. But also, I do expect you to, like I said, substantially revise your essays. So I don't want you to just copy and paste and add some sources in. Um, because as you'll see with comments that I start leaving on your essays as I'm grading them, there are always areas that can be improved. So you may need to strengthen a certain point or expand on a certain idea. Um, so it is expected that you do that. Um, so this one, you need to have at least three sources in your essay. One of these has to be a scholarly article from the Garden City Library database. And that's because this is a new requirement from the college. So I have an assignment or I have a, a, a lecture that shows you how to access the database, how to search for articles, um, how to uh, evaluate whether or not they're useful for your argument, um, and then how to, of course, integrate those into your argument. So um, the other two sources that you use are your choice. I just want to make sure that you choose sources that are credible, sources that speak to the issue that have um, you know, a credible publication date, location, uh, art, uh, author, think about the bias also of your, um, your source material. Now, when you use sources, you can use them either to support your own claims or you could use them even to introduce the opposing viewpoint, um, which is totally fine. Uh, if you do that, you can just say something like, some critics may say this, such as this person, um, and then you talk about that source, and then, then you refute that source. Um, so either way works. Uh, just make sure you have at least three. You're always welcome to use more. Um, your essay needs to be four to five pages in length, um, and it's due on Sunday, November 13th by 11.59 p.m. Um, MLA is required. Everything's checked for plagiarism. Make sure you meet that minimum length. Uh, so keep the same topic as essay one, and then uh, make sure you have uh, all the general parts of an essay. So a, a thesis claim, the main ideas with evidence, uh, the opposing ideas with refutations, um, and the appropriate use and number of sources and a conclusion. So in this one, um, like your first essay, you're going to have an assignment that is basically 20% of your essay grade, and that is an annotated bibliography. So that's a separate assignment. I'm gonna have a whole video that walks you guys through how to create an, an annotated bibliography. Um, so just know that you're going to have to turn that in separately. Um, and then the final essay is, is all that you really need to turn in um, to the essay link along with a regular bibliography. So as you'll see, an annotated bibliography is a where you basically, when you're doing your research, you have three parts that are included. So it's a summary of the source, what it is say, an evaluation of it, your own critique. Is it a strong source? Is it not? Why or why not? Um, and then the reflection, how would you use this in your own argument? Um, so you'll write basically a short paragraph for each of those annotations. That's what an annotated bibliography is. On the essay, you just need to give me a regular old bibliography. So that's just the citation, right? It's just this part right here. Um, so that is pretty much it. I've also included just an optional self-edit guide here, just something to kind of help if you if you want it. Uh, it's there to use. Um, and that is pretty much your, your second essay. So if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. But otherwise, you're going to go ahead and move on to your next assignment.